while ago I posted a video on how to shoot handheld where I compared shoulder rigs to hand holding a camera to a little thing I love called the easy rig which I'll link that video right here if you haven't seen it go check that out first definitely but a lot of people in the comments of that video and also on my own Instagram which you can follow me on Instagram um, it's just josh.athodgman um, get on that for sure if you're not a lot of people were just posting what is an easy rig show us more of the easy rig please give us more time of the easy rig one person even said the whole video should have just been on the easy rig um, so I thought I would just make a video about the easy rig about what it's for what it's not for and if you need it to be a professional filmmaker which a lot of people think and we're gonna answer all those questions and many more so let's get straight to it Easy Rig Mini Max. This is it. This is what you get when you order one. So this is the Mini Max. Um, comes in a pretty good bag, if I do say so myself. I keep mine in here. Um, I've got a couple of friends who also own Easy Rigs, and they still use their bags that they come into. It protects the whole unit. It's really good. It's kind of made of like a camera bag material on the inside, so it's really well protected. Well, what do you get? First of all, little bonus surprise straight off the get. On the back of the bag, you have a little zip on the back, top handle, zip. And in the zip, you actually have some backpack straps up the top here, which come out. So you get two of these, come out, they click down the bottom, boom. And then you can actually carry this like a backpack. Straight out of the gate, awesome bag. Top of the bag, let's do it. Carry straps, undo this. Clips here to keep everything together, which is really good. And then in the little top compartment here, I actually keep a roll of electrical tape. I use white just in case um, on a shoot with this big album we did once, it was like five easy rigs rolling around and two were rentals. So I just put this over ours and we didn't get confused whose was whose. A uh, little tip for that, that's just what that's for. But let's get into the bag. Open it up. First thing straight off, as you can see, little warranty thing. Oh, fun fact, they actually tell you exactly what number you are. You get a little tag on saying like, oh, you're number 1000 bought. It's kind of cool, but anywho. Warranty in there or something. Instructions, I think all as it is. I've never actually opened it, but if you're into the instructions, there they are. Um, and as you can see, it's that kind of like a bit of a, bit more of a loose, but very padded material, which is awesome. And then in here is the goods. Let's get it out. So in the bag, here we go. This is the Easy Rig Mini Max. And then if I bring it around, as you can see on the back, this is like the shell. This is where all the mechanism is. These four knobs here, um, this is what moves the rod up and down. So if you're tall like me, I had to loosen them, bring the rod right up so um, it gets on my hips. Uh, a lot of people don't put them in the correct positions. I'll show you that a bit later on. This little tension spring on the back here. The plus way is if your camera's heavy, turn it up. If it's lighter, turn it down. It's in that range of two to seven kilos, like they do state on their website. The actual straps is just like a backpack, but it's actually double strapped. As you can see, you've got two strength straps. The back is completely solid, but it's got some padding in there. It does get very sweaty. So if you're hiring these from rental houses, just know someone else's back sweat's been on it and that's a little bit gross. You've got two straps. You've got one at the top and one down the bottom. So this all comes back to the thought of what is even an easy rig for now? Easy rigs are for heavy cinema builds, such as this. This is a Canon C200 just with a 24 to 105. This is as light as the kit could go. I've just got my small rig cage on it. If you want to look at any of these things, I've got their links are in the description. The trick to getting better handheld, I'm just going to put this down for a second because it's pretty heavy. Um, the trick to getting better handheld is actually just weight. Cinema cameras are heavy, so there's a certain look that comes with just operators holding heavy cameras, which make things seem cinematic. Now, that's why you get these super light mirrorless cameras with the image stabilized sensors, which give really good gimbal-like shots, but not cinematic handheld shots because it's just too light. People are waving them around. It doesn't feel cinematic. So weight equals cinematic. That's where the easy rig comes into play. It, it actually literally says it why they invented their product on their website. Like if you have a look at this, like it literally says on their website, saving backs since 1994. So good. And then this is what we're gonna talk about today, the Mini Max. That's the one I've got. Um, if we click on this here, you can see it's a lightweight, portable easy rig for the adventurous camera operator designed for lighter camera setups. This is, this is awesome. And, oh, hang on. What's it? Who's this? Oh, look, it's Matty. And I would classify the C200, the, the Canon Cinema range. It's not super heavy. It's not like those massive RE or the Red Ranger cameras there. They're getting, or big film cameras. They're getting pretty, 
pretty intense. I'm um, actually like, how heavy is my camera? Let's see if I can find. So if I weigh this, how am I gonna, if I shove this in here, I have no idea how to weigh a camera. Is this stressing people out right now that I'm just dangling this? This is a testament to small rig cages to be honest. Check it out, links in the description. Um, but that's holding, but as you can see here, that is four kilos, just that. And then these setups, oh, these setups get heavier. What if we put a bigger lens on, hang on. Now we're talking, this, this, look at this, <laughs> look at this proportional weight. Let's see if we can, can weigh this now. Please people, don't freak out. I've done this before literally two seconds ago and it didn't fall then. <laughs> Hopefully it won't now, but at least it's on camera, hey. Oh, that is heavy, how heavy is that? Oh, that's only gone to five kilos. That's only five kilos, but it feels so much heavier. And that, that is heavy. And now if you were holding this out, all day, this is gonna break your back hard. Like shooting a music video straight and doing a couple of shots, this is gonna get real heavy, real fast. This is where the easy rig comes into its prime. You get these big cinematic cameras, these big chunkalicious lenses, and you're not worrying about fatigue ever setting in. You're just there to create. It's freeing you up to create more. So let's, let's take this setup, see how it goes in the field, shall we? Let's do that. Easy rig time. So I've just quickly popped out, sunset, and we're gonna take you through how to use an easy rig. So let's do this. So my number one trick, as you can see, um, free tip for you, I'm wearing black or really dark clothing. So when I do it really tight, you can't see my rolls because I don't gym, <laughs> hence the easy rig. So you grab your hook, bring it down, clamp it on. And now with my easy rig, I've got it all balanced out. So the camera's just floating there and we've got a lease over here and we're gonna get some shots to show you how it's done. So, so I've got the 70 to 200 uh, lens that's not only very heavy, but pretty hard to keep focused. So I've got Elise here. And Elise, if you just stand there, and as you can see, I've got this at 70 mil and I'm gonna just zoom in here. All right, and then Elise walk towards me. And then as you can see, the point of contacts we've got, it's just letting the camera float. You can get these low angles here. So now with walking with an easy rig, you've got to go heel to toe because um, contrary to popular belief, it actually doesn't um, stabilize your shot at all. It only really takes the weight. So it's all in your walk movement. So we're just going to walk now. So you can see there's a bit of shaking, but if you move slowly, you're pretty good. And then stop there, Elise. This, so this is 200 mil and the shot is pretty darn stable and I am barely holding the camera. I'm just slowly guiding it. It's gonna sway a little, but you wanna just go with it. And then we'll zoom back out. This floating look is so cool about the Easy Rig. I'm just swaying back and forth, kind of going with the camera. I like to hold it from the back and just guide the camera through and just really letting the camera kind of move where it wants to move. Don't fight it and just let it sway and it really creates this awesome organic look. What we're gonna do, so that's really demonstrating how the Easy Rig takes the weight, puts it right on my hips. But what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get a little scene with Elise and show you how this works really well with prime lenses as well. So we're gonna go put a 35 prime on here with no image stabilization. It's gonna be crazy and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so I've got a prime lens on now, just a 35. I'm gonna show you the versatility of a lens with no image stabilization whatsoever and how we can get some quick shots. So here's the wide shot of Elise, you can walk towards me. And then we're just gonna come a bit closer, get that medium shot. And then stopping there. And then you can get up to that close up. But that's pretty much operating an easy rig. It's a lot of swaying, a lot of moving. The camera kind of just floats there and you just kind of guide it into the right position to get the shots. But cool beans, the sun is gone. Um, our camera batteries, batteries have died. Absolutely nothing has gone to plan. But hey, that's why you make a plan and then you adjust to it. Free tip for you there. Always make a plan because you're gonna need another plan when that plan doesn't work. Maybe have three plans. I don't know.
we can just cut. <laughs> I think what I really love about the Easy Rig after everything is that it's a simple, just straightforward tool that you use that frees the filmmaker up to actually create and capture better shots with a full out cinema rig build. Now, it's actually crazy when you think about it. Like gimbals are awesome, right? I've used gimbals before as well, but you've got bigger vests, you need all this mechanical parts as well. And just have a little gripe with gimbals. They always go wrong when I use them. Like literally I spent one time with a Ronin gimbal and it just couldn't work. We had to call up the um, where we got it for the rental house and they couldn't figure out. We ended up actually getting a refund and apparently our one was broken and they had to send it back to DJI. That's a whole nother story. It's making noises. So having a tool that's 100% just straightforward, no batteries, no complex instructions, it's just all mechanical and it works, is something truly awesome. Every time I take it out of the bag on shoot, it works 100% of the time. And that just frees me up to create. I'm, I'm not worrying about my arms getting tired. I'm not worrying about my shoulders hurting. I'm not worrying about anything. I've just got this incredible camera and I'm freed up to be there with the talent, to be there with the crew, be there with the team and really facilitate what I'm on set to do, which is to capture some really awesome images to the best ability I can. So that's probably my most favorite thing about the Easy Rig. It just frees me up to create and quote them on their website as well. It has been saving backs since forever. <laughs> Should you buy an Easy Rig? Now, it's quite an easy question to answer. I think if you own a heavy camera, like myself, like the C200, and you do film for extended amounts of times and you wanna film handheld or you need to do run and gunning, yes, definitely get an Easy Rig. Your back will thank you. Not just on every shoot you do, but in years to come when you can still keep filming because you don't have an old fragile back. Trust me, get an easy rig. Now, if you're more into travel filmmaking, don't, one, don't travel with a massive red camera unless you're crazy, but props to those people that do. But if you're just shooting on DSLRs for now, mirrorless cameras, do not buy one. I have seen some ridiculous photos of people that had like a little Sony A6400 with a little 24 to 70 lens on it and they had it on an easy rig. It's too light, firstly, it'll probably just kept shooting up and it does not help. It actually makes filmmaking harder and worse and those cameras, you wanna just whip them around. Like you don't need any support for those little mirrorless cameras, especially not an easy rig. They, you need heavy cameras for them to work. So anything under like three kilos, it's probably not worth it. Just maybe go to the gym if you're struggling holding your little mirrorless camera. That's probably my tip. Go to the gym if you own a DSLR. But if you're like me and you skip the gym every day, um, you can definitely get an easy rig. And above everything, if you just wanna show off to all your friends on Instagram and like have those really sick BTS photos, yes, an easy rig will make your productions look 100% more legit really fast. And like people that haven't seen them before kind of like take you a bit more seriously when you've got it because it just like looks so legit. So that's everything you need to know about the Easy Rig. So please subscribe if you want to. Um, I make videos every Tuesday. I post filmmaking content, awesome things. I think they're awesome. I'm not really looking for your approval, but if you want to hang out, um, definitely subscribe and I'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.